Okay. Hello again. Uh, we are starting this one out with, uh, well, let's just go this way. Instead of basic, but we have to go to basic because um, this particular program is the demoing is going to be um, this one right here, Skier. This is a TI basic program. Oops, shouldn't do that. Yeah, it's TI basic, as you can see. And because it's basic, it's going to be extremely slow. You can't put an extended basic, it'll crash because it uses character 144. This is the RxB version of it. It's been modified. Uh, how about if I give you an example of this? Let's see now. Let's start off with this. I have a routine called scroll up. Now, if you don't include any information after it, with a you know parentheses, like you do here, that just indicates it's going to do one scroll up. The same thing as if you typed in print. So over here we have the original. Like, you know, print instructions. Let's go to that one. And instead we have scroll up uh, two lines because you have a, a space. We put two lines in here. And it's going to scroll up twice. And then it's going to do the instructions again. Now, the other thing is I have to do is I had to add in characters right here. And the reason for that is because it, RxB starts on the screen from the third character over for print. That's the same thing as a TI Basic. See? You have these two characters over here, this one and the one before it. So TI Basic starts with the 28 in the middle, and then you have the two on the other end. RxB always goes with, unlike that, it always goes from, well, it does it for the print for like this right here. You can use, still use print. So it's compatible backwards, compatible. But it's easier to go from all characters instead of just using the print. So anyways, this is the routine here. And you have things like, uh, down here at the bottom of print. In RxB, I use scroll up instead. And I added two lines because it looks better. Anyways, the two routines are like that. Uh, let's go to the, the routines are skier and uh, RxB ski, skier. So if we load them, hold. RxB skier. And over here we have the TI basic one. All right. So we can list them all out. They look exactly the same as this because this is just a listing. So there's no reason to leave that. As you notice, it takes a long time for extended basic, TI basic to load something. All right, so anyways, um, I did a little comparison on the sizes. Now, RxB's, I added a little bit because it's gone from the original TI skier in basic is 13616 in program size. And RxB makes it, uh, see, now RxB's going to increase it to, wait a minute, I am wrong. It's actually 13. 13,952, and RxB makes it, uh, lowered it down to 12,788 12, bytes. So it's actually smaller than RxB, slightly, not much. Uh, execution speed is where it really goes to town. So let's run these two programs, just for a comparison. I probably should expand these a little bit. So you can see them better. So we're going to hit run and run. These will be in RxB 2022. I'll have all these XB programs you can run. And RxB gets there first, of course. There's Skier with the instructions. And then here's TI Basic using the print command. As you can see, it looks like a break command. So, because RxB is backwards compatible, you can run the TI Basic program in RxB. It won't work in Extended Basic because it uses character 144, but RxB will allow it. I think XB 2.8 or 9 will allow it. 
I'm not quite sure. I've never tested them. So anyways, the point is I've added assembly to RxB, so the uh, scroll up routine is the same as the print routine, but it works extended basic instead of using TI basic. So I had to make them compatible, compatible because if you try to run this program, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to stop the program for a second. Whoops. All right. New old disk one skier. Now if we run it in TI Extended Basic or in RxB, what will happen is this. You'll see the difference right off the bat. After the instructions, of course. So the screen looks exactly the same. And if we go to the game, hit game for G. See how we get this thing right here? This is because the print command in extended basic is not the same as the print command in DI basic. That's why you get this. And it looks so strange. Also, for the game, if you go like one to start the game up, you're going to notice something right off the bat that really sucks. You notice that? See the print down at the bottom? It never shows up because, like I said, the print in TI Extended Basic or RxB or XB 2.9 will not print properly because they don't work the same as the TI Extended Basic version of print. Not the same. So, and then run it. And we'll get to the same place so we can keep on going. I'm just trying to show you the difference between XT Extended Basic and RxB and TI Basic. And I've tried to make RxB as backwards compatible as possible, but there are some problems that you can't fix. Okay, let's hit instructions. So let's go over here, instructions, instructions. Of course, RxB is going to be faster. Also, the layout that I put up with scroll up makes it look a little bit better. And of course, the character sets are different, so it looks a little bit better that way too. So let's start the game here. Let's uh, let's go with press any key. And it shows you the rank. We can do the same thing over here just to show you. And it looks a little bit different because I, I modified it slightly, not much. But it looks better. Anyway, so let's start the game over here. We'll go one for the easiest. And we're going to use the S and D key to steer the, the uh, skier. And as it tabs down, because it's using GPL for the print routine, and it's using GPL for the uh, putting the characters on the screen, my horizontal character and V character are also written in assembly now. So they will be much quicker. That's like putting that little character you see the skier. That's written in assembly in RxB now. So as you can see, it. Uh, it works. And the response is a little slow because the key routines in TI Basic are also in GPL. RxB is in GPL too, but I've added a couple of features like one called OnKey, which is what I use in this particular demo. And OnKey is a little bit different because it has an found else built into it. It has, well, it actually has an if then else and a go to built into it. So this makes it a little bit more efficient to use. You can eliminate a little code. See, in a, regular, uh, a regular call key in TI Basic or Extended Basic has to use an if then else. So if S equals zero, the status, then it has to loop back again to the same key part. Well, on key does something similar, but it has a built in if then else. And because of that, that makes it a little more efficient and a little bit better for using. It speeds the program up, essentially. If you get a copy of RxB, you can find this out for yourself. So we're just cranking. We're going to crank down to the end of the screen here, and then I'm going to put in RxB and do it. The same thing. Of course, I've been practicing at this game, so I'm getting pretty good. Also, it's slower in TI Basic, so it's not that hard. 
even when it speeds up, you can see it's not that much faster. I mean, it's speeded up, but it's still not much of a challenge. Okay, so that's it. So it's set up for the next map. It shows you what you've done, and you can just start over again. And uh, it basically runs the same game over again. So anyways, let's go over to Arc B, hit 1, and see if we can do it in it, and see what it's run like. You can see the screen moves a little faster already, faster than TI Basic, for the reason that all these are written in assembly. Everything being put on the screen right now is written in assembly. It's just, it still acts as it using GPL. It's not like compiled basic that's written in entirely in assembly. It's still extended basic, so you can modify it easily and stick with basically the commands you're used to in TI basic or extended basic. As you can see, the character pops up on the screen much quicker. It's very, very quick. It's the same with the call clear routine. When you call clear in RSB uh, 2022, it's going to be assembly, so it's very quick to clear the screen. I think it's somewhere like eight to nine times faster. I've done comparisons and put up times on the uh, Atari age to, to show what it's doing and how well it does it. So now it's speeding up, you can hear it speeding up. And it slows down again because I, I made the I made it in time. And we're coming up the end here. So you can see it's much quicker. It's the same exact game, but it's in, because of the assembly language, it makes it much quicker. This doesn't affect any of your programs. They behave exactly the same as regular TI Extended Basic, but if you do a comparison between the two of them, you see a huge speed up. And uh, what I mean by that, I hit E, go over here and hit e, e, and I do a call clear. Now, watch how fast this is. Pretty fast. We'll call clear here. It's instantaneous because it's an assembly. Uh, a perfect example of the problem I've done this demo several times is the call B character, which is slower than H character. We go 1, 1, and we'll say something like uh, 65, which is the A, 768 to fill the screen. We do the same thing over here call B character. 1165768. Okay, this is going to be regular TI extended TI basic. Okay, that's TI basic. Here's RxB. I don't think it's quite as fast as uh, compile basic because it still has to do with the regular GPL interpretation you normally get with extended basic. Uh, uh, XB256 uses fully assembly language. The problem with XB256 is trying to modify programs is kind of a problem because you can't just go in and change something like you could with regular TI, extended, TI basic or extended basic. And you can still do that in RxB. You can still get access to the program and change it without having to recompile the code, even if it is fast to recompile the code. You still have the original code to start with. You don't lose the original code here. You still have it. It's not modified into something else. Anyways, that's the advantage. Uh, the reason why the extended basic and TI basic existed in the first place was to be backwards compatible, and you could run this from a console. You don't need a 32K to make this work. Now, I got a demo with cassette behind me to do that soon, and uh, th that was the point: was to be backwards compatible. You can't say that the newer stuff that's coming out, like XB256, is backwards compatible. 
it has to have a 32K or it won't even run. Because it's in assembly, it has to have it. I've written assembly that's in the scratch pad. Everything's in the scratch pad, so therefore you only need a console. Now there's only 256 bytes in there, but at least Stuart's been helping me out to make this work. And it does work. I mean, like, you can see how damn fast it is. Anyways, I want to do a real quick demo to show this particular program that I'm working on. Well, not program. What I'm doing, I'm changing a bunch of different games. This is RxB Skier that I've, I've re redone. And it changes. You can see the difference when you get a hold of it. I guess I'll have to include both of them so you can see the Skier in TI Basic and RxB. I'll include those in my next demo, whenever I'm doing the demo with the uh, cassette, I'll do that. I also have things here like Crazy Cliff I'm working on. So that's extended basic program. So I'll be making a bunch of these for the RxB2, uh, two, excuse me, <laughs> RxB2, uh, 2022. And uh, it's going to be in the uh, programs. I'm going to make a whole bunch of programs here for it that you can see the demos of. Including the games, uh, the games here. Yeah, here's the games. Including RxB, I, I have to rewrite our in the dark too, because in the dark uh, with the new assembly is going to change how the game plays. It's going to be faster. So, anyways, just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to, and I'll post this, and we will talk to you guys later.